you want to leave this place But we grew up this old town Just put it all behind So it is Saturday and I am starting my spring clean today, but also I figure since Saturday's kind of the day we don't work, we have off, I have off, I could dedicate the next few Saturdays that are open to doing some spring cleaning and a spring project. Spring project number one is starting our garden seeds and doing some plant propagation. We propagated quite a few spider plants and pothos plants and they've been needing to be repotted for a while. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna start with that. And then Ryan pulled out all of our garden stuff to start, all the garden seeds. So I've laid down a nice area. I'm gonna get messy, roll up my sleeves and start all of our, our garden seeds. It's currently March, March 9th, Saturday, March 9th. So it'll take them a little while to really get started. We have a whole system set up to the side. <laughs> So we'll be able to hook up our plant lights, put our seeds over there, and hopefully do better this time around. We're starting a lot earlier than we did last year. Last year, we didn't have the garden ready, so we never really got to harvest as much as we like. This year, hopefully, we can, we can actually harvest. What are you doing? Also, really rainy day, and it's chilly in the house because we've turned the heat off. So Ryan has a fire going and this hot coffee. It's like warm in my cold hands. It's the best feeling. got in here and made a mess of things so we're gonna have to do some serious spring cleaning in the greenhouse but I'm just out here looking for some gloves perfect and some gardening shovels got my gardening pouch nice <laughs> Making it right now. Ooh. Mind the messy kitchen. Everybody's hungry, so it's time for some lunch. Playing drums on the cupboards. Mmm, 
Thank you. I was definitely craving a sausage. Yeah, get a good one. Dunk it into ketchup. So it's actually been about two days since I was vlogging with you guys. Yesterday I did head to the grocery store. We were having Ryan's dad over for dinner. So I picked up some ingredients to make a tomato soup and some grilled cheese at home, some fancy grilled cheese. And I decided to pick myself up some flowers as well. So I picked up the really pretty lilies. They're right about to bloom, but it's I've never picked myself up lilies before and I I don't know why, but they look so pretty to me even before even blooming. We're so close to spring, I swear I can taste it. And having fresh flowers in the house, I know it's very basic, but it's definitely a game changer for my overall mood. So it's Monday. I originally, like I said, planned on doing my spring cleaning each weekend, but I ran out of time and I ran out of energy on Saturday. I was gonna do this portion of my spring clean yesterday, but like I mentioned, we it was a really cold day yesterday and we were running around trying to grab stuff. I had to host my book clubs yesterday. So again, I just kind of ran out of time. So I'm currently on my lunch, lunch break from work for the routine that I follow. I, I obviously make my own day-to-day -day routine because I work for myself, but this is the hour that I give myself to take a break and eat lunch and do whatever I want. So I figured I would vlog because I'm choosing the very first thing on my spring cleaning list. And it's such a, a like easily attackable room. I would do it today to finish out the vlog. However, one thing that I also didn't get to on the weekend was watering all of the plants. I moved all of the plants that we propagated into new pots or some of them. There's still a few that we just don't have pots for yet but I didn't get a chance to go around the house and water all of our plants, which doesn't take very long. I usually play my audiobook or blast some music. Uh, I'm kind of in the mood for music, but I have been reading or listening to A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm on chapter 42. So this is the all-in-one sheet I have made for my spring cleaning. It was actually a bonus vlog for members of this channel where I did a house tour and while I walked around my house in every single room I stopped, sat down, looked around, and then wrote down what I want to do for spring cleaning or spring projects. So I have it divided by each room and the very first room that I started in and one of the most like easily completed rooms to start is the front foyer. It's also the first room in the house. So we actually got started last week by removing all of our winter trees and winter <laughs> decor. We had some Christmas trees and a winter wreath outside. And then I'm thinking for the next vlog part two of spring cleaning, I'm gonna make my project on Friday, making a wreath for the door for spring. So I won't have a wreath yet or a front mat, but I just wanna do the deep cleaning portion and then I'll decorate next week with you guys. So what I need to do, I wanna put away our winter boots and coats, wash the windows and the windows on the doors, just give a general tidy sweep clean vacuum, although Ryan actually did that this weekend, so there shouldn't be too much to do, and mop the floors. I can easily tackle that. So first things first, water plants, then part one of spring cleaning, deep cleaning the front foyer. His Thank you. 
officially complete. Well, it's actually not totally complete. I'm gonna wait to do the windows when we do the windows of the whole house because we're gonna do outside and inside, so there's really no point in me getting started now. This will be my next project, this room. <laughs> Our laundry slash gym room. I will wash all of these windows at one time. Updated where we hang our coats to all of our spring jackets. Well, my spring jackets and then my two go-to bags, which is my fanny pack for like walking or exercising and then my actual day-to-day -day purse. And then one of Ryan's lighter coats. I'll let him choose whatever else he wants to put up there. And an umbrella because it's officially rain season. Two pairs of boots for me, two pairs of boots for Rye. I wiped down the windowsill, cracked open the window. I'll have to wipe down the other window sills when I do the windows, but I moved our robot vacuum and then put our running shoe tray here. So I just have my day-to-day -day waterproof shoes right there, but I'll probably put my gym shoes there too. And we keep the vacuum in here because it's easy to turn on when leaving the house, but also because then we can shut this door so Easton doesn't come play with it because he loves it. The only thing that's still cluttered in here is I need to add this to my pile in the garage of tech that I need to recycle. Uh, and then I didn't end up updating the plants. They actually aren't doing as bad as I thought. We have these little snake plants here, which might not show very well just because of the backlight from outside, but they're actually not doing too bad. So this one maybe, maybe is ready to go, but the other two are trying. So I'm gonna leave them here and I'll likely repot this one the next day I do gardening stuff. I also cleaned this mirror today, but I didn't vlog it, but it's also nice and clean now. That's the front foyer. So on Friday, I'm gonna be making a wreath. I actually invited my sister over if she wanted to make one too. One thing I was about to throw out, but I'm not going to, is my old hunter boots. I've had these since 2015, but they officially have holes in them. I don't know if it's gonna focus on that. Hopefully it will. So originally for a hot second, I was like, okay, I guess I have to throw these out, but I'm really, really trying to like sell things or repurpose things instead of just throwing them out. So I went on Pinterest and I looked up rubber boot planters. Cause I was like, these could easily, like these could go in our garden with plants in them. As long as I just like, I don't even have to clean them up. It kind of gives them more of a, of a weathered, weathered used look if I just leave them, but I would probably clean them up. I saw a couple pictures of people that like put a bow around the boots, put some either glass inside that we can use as planters or come up with another way to put some plants in here and put these in our garden. So that's what I'm gonna do with these instead. So I'm leaving them in here as part of my project for Friday. I think I can do that while I make my eyes twitching. Oh, that feels really weird. Anyway, I'm thinking I'll do that project, some rubber boot planter projects alongside making my wreath. So that'll all be in spring cleaning part two. I hope you guys enjoyed part one. Let me know if you are spring cleaning this year and doing any projects for the springtime this year. My list is quite lengthy uh, and I scratched off what I got done today in green. Oh, wow, the lighting is really not working with me today, but yeah. The only thing I have to do is update the plants and wash the windows and doors in that room and the wreath, of course. But that checks one room out of one room out of 12 done. So this is going to be a multi-part series and I will see you guys all in week number two. Bye.